When I first read the Skypiea arc in One Piece, one of the things that stuck with me was the dials. So dials are devices used in Skypiea that are made from the remains of particular shellfish. They have a wide range of abilities from being used to heat up things like ovens all the way to being used to reject an absorbed attack back at an opponent. Skypiea was added all the way back in update 1 for Grand Prix Online, but dials were not added then. I personally did expect them, but they still... I don't think Foyu wanted to add them, or he didn't know how to add them, so they weren't added. Again, I'm not sure why Foyu chose not to add dials, but maybe it had something to do with copyright, or it could just be that simply he wanted to push the update and didn't have time to make dials. But I haven't really seen dials in very many One Piece games. I played though, I'm sure there's... I think there was one game that I've seen them in in sneak peeks or perhaps in videos, but I haven't actually played a game with dials as a feature. I'd really like to see how they could be implemented into a One Piece game like GPO. Some of the dials are kind of weak and not really supposed to be used for combat, so I assume that only combat focused dials would be added. One exception to this could be the breath dial, which can be used to move a ship by attaching it to the back, like the ship shown in this, in this image. It would be interesting to see if a ship seller NPC was added to Skypea and he could perhaps sell this. I'm not sure if this would make any sense, but maybe this ship could even be spawned on the Sky Islands. The Shandians also use breath dials to create a series of interesting transportation methods. These include a board and shoes that have dials attached to increase the speed. It would be cool if these were added too. The, the next dial that I want to talk about is definitely combat focused and this is the axe dial. So this dial is probably the easiest to add to GPO since the mechanic is pretty simple and easy to understand. The dial just sends out an X shaped attack forward. In Grand Peace Online, this will probably just be used to combo extend and reminds me that I should probably mention how I would like to see these dials implemented from a mechanical perspective. So I assume the dials would work in a similar way to guns so that players can only hold one dial at a time. This would make it so that you can't just spam dial moves and you'd have to choose which dial you think would work best in your build. The next dial on my list is the flame dial. So this dial allows the user to absorb and release fire. I'm not sure if they would include this the absorb aspect into the fruit since it would be a bit of like an awkward gameplay like mechanic to have to absorb a fire attack before using it. However, this could like just make sense. And I assume the dial would just shoot out a similar attack to he can from the Mera fruit. This would be an interesting way for players without a fruit to do burn damage to an enemy. And the next dial is one that would have a mechanic that I have never seen in a One Piece game before. The dial that I'm talking about is the flash dial. So this dial can be used to emit a strong light which can blind an opponent. In the context of Grand Piece Online, I could see this dial being used to temporarily blind an opponent, making their screen go completely white, so they cannot see your attack coming. I could see this dial being annoying in PvP, so it would make sense if all the dials had a pretty long cooldown. I assume the range on the flash dial would also be pretty short, so that might be a way to balance it. Now I'm going to talk about a dial that is probably one of my favourite of all the dials, and the dial in question is the impact dial. So this dial can be used to absorb and then release an attack back on an opponent. I imagine that in GPO you could use this to block and when you block it it would count up how much damage that move would have done to you and then if you release it back on an opponent it would do the same amount. Maybe it could work like Roku Ogan where you can jump towards an opponent and then catch them in the animation. This move would also damage the user quite a bit and maybe this could scale with how much damage is absorbed. For example if you hit by an attack that did 100 damage you would take a, quite a bit of damage yourself if you chose to release that impact. The next dial is one that I rarely see talked about and that is the Aizen dial that is used in the sword that is used by Ohm and Ohm is one of the Enel's four priests so he's a really strong character. Well he was back then, maybe not the current uh, storyline but back when Skypea first dropped in the anime and in the manga as well Ohm was a pretty big threat and he was on par with Zoro. Like him and Zoro, when they clashed, it was a really kind of equal fight in my opinion. But the abilities on this dial are a little strange and definitely not as easy to explain as other more simple dials like the flame dial. So it basically emits something called an iron cloud, which can be shaped into different things like a wall and then this cloud becomes tough as iron. 
In Grand Piece Online, I could see this being used to create a temporary barrier out of iron cloud to absorb and block attacks. I'm not sure what other moves it could have, so I think it's safer just to go with the defensive wall. The final dial that I want to talk about is also my favorite of all the dials. The disc dial is of course the reject dial. The reject dial is a more powerful version of the impact dial and it is made infinitely cooler by the fact that it requires such a big sacrifice from the user. The dial can absorb an attack and then release it but it tenfold the power. In GPO, this might have to be nerfed a little bit because if you absorb a 50 damage attack, it would do 500 damage. But I guess that's, that's okay if the cost is enough. So the only way to balance this would be if they chose to keep the tenfold rule, but also made it so that when you use the ability, it drained a lot of your health. But I wouldn't want it to drain all your health. Maybe it could be that it would drain enough health to the point where you're staggered or Maybe like a little bit above uh, being knocked. And the reason why I want this to happen is because I would like it if you could win a fight with this move and it wouldn't just be a, you know, a two-way KO. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts on what dials would look like in GPO. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I upload daily, so keep an eye out for more videos. And I hope you're having a great day, evening, or whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. See ya.